Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explore the tessellate tool in 3ds Max and how to create various cool knob shapes in just a few simple steps. Trust me, this tool is incredibly useful and a huge time saver. So make sure you watch till the end and don't skip any part. Let's begin by creating a chamfer cylinder. Nice. Now increase the height segments so that the faces look like squares. We need square faces to get accurate and smooth results in the upcoming steps. Next, uncheck Smooth. This is important because we're not going to use Turbo Smooth at this point. Now add an Edit Poly modifier. I'm making a few copies so I can show you different modeling techniques for each one. First knob. Let's go back to our first cylinder. Select the faces where you want to create the shape. Go to Subdivision. Tessellate. Click the down arrow, choose Polygons and hit OK. Now select vertices that have four connections. Go to Modify Selection, then hit Similar. Press R to select the Scale tool and scale up the selected vertices. If the hard edges don't look good, select those faces and apply Auto Smooth from the Smoothing Group menu. Our first knob is done in just a few easy steps second knob. Now let's move to the second cylinder. Repeat the same steps. Select faces, tessellate, polygon, click plus, plus. Okay, you'll see we now have some nice edge details that are usually hard to model manually. Select the specific vertices, hit similar and scale them up just a bit. Apply smoothing and that's it. Our second knob is ready. Third knob. Moving on to the third cylinder. Again, select faces, tessellate, polygon, hit the plus. Now click the down arrow, select edges and boom, you've got a perfect circular face on your cylinder. This is exactly why square faces are so important. They make perfect circles much easier to create. Now select the center vertex, then use similar to select all similar ones. Hit Ctrl plus click on face to convert the selection to faces and apply a slight extrude. Add a Turbo Smooth modifier. It already looks good. To keep the shape more defined, select the edges you want to hold.
apply a small chamfer and done. Our third knob is complete. You can use this technique for anything. Bottle caps, bike handlebars and more. Fourth knob. Now let's work on the fourth cylinder. Repeat the same steps but this time apply a negative extrude instead of a positive one. Turbo smooth, and just like that, we have a super cool recessed knob. Bonus making mesh holes. Let's make a mesh with some circular holes. Using the previous cylinder, simply delete a, a face, and your base mesh is ready. Now let's add some more circular holes. Go to the next cylinder. Select the center vertices. Use similar to select all matching ones. Right click and apply a chamfer. I lost my selection. No worries. We'll fix it later. And enable hole to create circular holes. Use Modify Selection. Similar to select other matching vertices. Similar to select other matching vertices, delete the faces. And there you go. Your circle hold mesh is done in just a few quick steps. Wrapping up wasn't that easy. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and most importantly, Subscribe to support the channel. Your support helps me bring more simple and useful tutorials like this one. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.